Hey guys, myself Rakesh. Welcome back to another UiPath tutorial. We are going to learn how to read a password protected Excel file. If an Excel file is password protected, how can you read it inside UiPath? Okay, so there are two things we are going to see. Uh, we will see how do you enable a password for Excel file. Anyone who is not aware, they can learn it. And also, you will see how do you create a workflow to access the data from the protected excel file okay that is the main agenda now there is something you will find a question at the end uh, and do watch the execution output carefully because i am going to ask a question on the output why that output did not appear okay something like this so please watch and let's see who can answer that so let's get started our first agenda is to this is a simple excel file having some five numbers and I want to uh, put a password. So anytime who opens it has to enter a password. Simple. So I'll hit on file, uh, go to save us and hit on browse. Simple, save us and browse. And here tools, you have something called general options. So click on the general options and enter the password. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just giving a simple password. And also you have another option um, if you want to protect the Excel file uh, to anybody who wants to modify needs to enter a password. Uh, we can do that one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So both the passwords I have entered hit on. Okay. And it will ask you to confirm two times for both the types of password. Hit you want to replace. Yes. Fine. Now your file is password protected. So first agenda you have learned, right? protect an excel file with password so if you close this and try to open this particular file it should prompt you for the password so okay you enter the password again to uh, get the right access because we have set two different passwords generally they will put only one password but for advanced learning we have done it so now i have access to even write and read the file so you have understood this right so this is a protected excel file now now how do i access this file let's see so let me close it so i'll say don't save all right so it is a protected excel file now now to access this a second agenda how do you read a password protected excel file in uipath so for this we'll use our excel process scope quickly and then below this we'll be using a use excel file okay this is the this is how you should use now uh, let me select the excel file which is your test one hit on open look at the property of this activity use excel file where you have edit password and password so both the password that we have entered let's place them so put a double quote and i'm writing it and then Okay, I'm entering both the password. Now, this may not be the secure way of having a password open. You can do it in various ways using uh, credential assets from the orchestrator, secure string. There are many different ways. I have created videos on them. You can watch it. But for learning purpose, it's fine. All right. So the password has been given in this activity. So this activity will become capable of accessing the file without prompting the user to enter the password manually. Okay, that is the benefit. Now, what is our second objective? We want to read it. So let's use a read range activity. And all these activities has an Excel icon. So these are the all modern activities that has been added. Um, in case you do not see them, I think you know the answer. You have to click on the filter option and enable the show modern design or else enable the modern design by going to the project settings. Okay, now what I'm going to do, uh, read range. So to, to do a read range, I'll hit on the plus sign. Uh, hit on the excel and click on indicate in excel so what would happen if you do this uh, even though the excel file is closed uh, this is going to open the excel file for you okay so once the excel file is open what you want to read i want to read from here to here and hit on confirm okay so now it is going to read from the a1 cell to a5 cell now if you open the project um, and open the excel file i just got a doubt whether the see it is coming as a read only that means uh, this is a password protected file okay so if you hit on 
notify it should prompt me for the password so it is still a password protected so let, let me close it this i got a doubt so here i have selected the range you saw this right by using the plus sign how it has opened the excel file for me and and then it allowed me to select the range okay now the second thing you wanted to save it to a data table so let's create a variable over here and name it as dt1 data table 1 and this data table 1 i want to once it reads the data i want it to show it as an output so let's use a for each loop activity or for each row and here i am going to simply say dt1 all right now i wanted to use a message box so let's drag and drop a message box and simply say current row so this function you should be very very clear current row and in the bracket i am mentioning the column name you can put a column name if it has a header you can provide a column name but our data doesn't have a header right it doesn't have a header so what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to simply say uh, i'm going to put the index number which i'm going to say zero so zero means your a column the first one is zero index number b is one two three so it will start from zero so instead instead of putting the name you type the name or you simply put the index number okay so here index number works fine i will put a current row in bracket index number fine now let's run it and here i am going to ask you a question as i told you so let's run it so how do you expect the output to come all the data it should show right so look at this carefully so the execution has started okay red now see look at the message box the first message box why did it show me two hmm? so you can see uh, my excel file had the first value as one but the first output is showing me two hmm? why think about it three why it did not show me one because i am looping through the entire i am reading everything right from a1 to a5 so it should show me one but why it did not show me one tell me do you know the answer so you can pause it and reply in case you know the answer but anyone who who has a question or not able to find the answer let me tell you here i am using a read range activity and if you look at the property has headers has been checked so my excel file does it has a header it does not have any kind of a header simply have written one two three four five now in such a case if header has been selected so what it thinks the a1 cell is a header so it does not show me the output getting it so if i uncheck this that means there is no header so it should start reading from the a1 cell so if you now run it i should see the output as one two three four five getting that is the answer okay let's see the output okay now the first message box is going to appear do you see the output has come as one so i hope this is interesting right you have learned something new two okay like that it will continue for all the five data all right guys so thank you so much for watching it please do subscribe in case you have not done it already please do subscribe and please do like all our contents and do comment i am reading your comments and i am going to answer any questions that you have either in a video form or maybe directly on the comment thank you guys uh, please do subscribe please do share our videos to anyone who would like to learn uipath thank you take care bye bye